Hello and welcome to another Simply Fired Astro video. And today what I want to um, show you is I had a little issue during uh, imaging. Uh, problems cropped up on my CEM120 with a bit of movement in the declination axis. Um, it's not major, but it's something that coming from a friction drive with a, a Mesu 200, it, it bothers me. So uh, I just wanted to show you, and hopefully you can pick this up on the mic. If you look at the RA axis, if I move the RA axis, now the, gear, the gearbox is engaged, and I'm just rocking the RA axis back and forth, and you can hear nothing. Nothing at all. There's a, a, the tiniest of movement uh, in the gears, so it really nothing at all just the slightest movement so it doesn't bind but if i show you on the declination axis if i engage the gears you can hear this movement you, you know now to me uh over just this short distance with so i haven't got a long telescope on it to have that rock in it is just too much so what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to show you how to adjust this gear the gears are adjustable which is great. Uh, you've got two Allen keys here. One's a, a locking screw, like a grab screw, and the other is an adjusting screw. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to adjust the declination gear. It's actually the same uh, process for the RA, but I'm going to show you the declination gear, and uh, I'm going to see if we can um, just tune out that uh, movement in the deck axis. Okay, so the two things that we're going to need uh, for this job is a 2mm and a 3mm Allen key. Uh, that's all we need. So what we're going to do is disengage the deck gear uh, because this needs to be done with the gear kind of away from the holes because we need to undo this grub screw. Um, but also you need to engage the gear because down through this top hole, which is uh, like the locking grub screw, uh, there's a hole in the pin that goes through. So with the gear unlock switch in this position, in the unlock position, the Allen key doesn't fit through. So you have to put it in the lock position Put your Allen key in the hole and then just unlock that grub screw. But I'll show you, you know, we had this this little movement in here before, which hopefully we can steer. So you can still hear that movement. So what we're looking at doing is just getting rid of that. So I'm just going to undo the grub screw, not far, just quarter of a turn. And then the other Allen key, the three mil Allen key, I'll put in this front screw and then just turn it the slightest of turns, sixteenth of a turn, clockwise. Then lock off the little grub screw and then just try it. So I can bring my gear back to where I was. Tiniest of bits in that still, the tiniest, tiniest. So I'll do the same again and again just turn it the slightest of bits. The danger is going too far and then you can bind up. Ideally you want to do this um, with your telescope on, I would say. I mean it doesn't really matter, but perhaps with your telescope on uh, and everything ready and also with the handset plugged in. Um, I haven't got my handset plugged in at the moment. Once I've done this I'll check with my handset to make sure we get no binding uh, because it's a real fine balance between uh, getting the gear meshed enough but not so much that all the, the movement's gone but then you start binding as you start trying to turn um, so again i'm going to put my three more allen key in just the tiniest of turns i mean i've really just turned out a tiny little bit do my locking screw up i'm going to bring it back to the unlock position bring it up to here which is where it seems to be at the worst and that's it. Nothing there. Now that's exactly the same as the RA. So now I've got just the, I can feel the movement rather than hear it. So it's the tiniest of movement. So what I'm going to do now is I'll plug my handset in, uh, the handbox, uh, run it both in slow and fast on slew on the deck, uh, just to make sure that we get no binding uh, and then we should be good to go. So I'll then try it again tonight, run a, a PhD graph and see how we get on. And now I just wanted to quickly show you, you know, the whole setup, just um, slewing now. So we're, at the moment, we're at the zero position. So if you set your motor speed, so I can go, say, speed eight. Slew in RA, slew in deck, whichever way. Well, RA now. Um, speed nine. 
So it's pretty quiet. You know, this is I'm standing right next to this with my microphone now, so it's reasonably quiet. And if I go menu, uh, zero position, go to zero. So we'll park in both axes back to the zero position. Um, as I said in my original video, you can actually set a different part position to zero position, but uh, that's up to you. That's down to the individual circumstances. But that's it. We're all um, we're ready, uh, ready to image tonight. I've connected up the iPolarscope uh, just to run through the setting up of the Pole Master um, to check the the, uh, the polar alignment and adjust as necessary, um, and then we'll have a little go at a night's imaging, see how the the how the, um, the deck axis adjustment has worked out. Uh, it seems good, it's much better now, it's not rattling around, uh, it's not stalling, so um, hopefully that'll all be good. So hopefully that's been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.